I recently purchased the Perfect Paper Stretcher by Ken Bromley and I'll be testing it out this plein air season. This comes in three different sizes. This is the smallest and it fits a quarter sheet of watercolor paper. You can see that I also purchased the tripod mount. This you have to buy separately, but it works really well with this board. The back of the board has a hole in the center so you can just visually line it up. You don't even have to measure anything. And then the plate comes with the four screws. I went ahead and used just a bit of Gorilla Glue in between just as an extra way to attach that, but I don't think that's necessary. Now my quick release plate from my tripod will screw into there. And then this obviously goes into the top of my tripod so I can use this for plein air painting. Now this board is made out of wood and it has some thickness to it. And that's because there are grooves on each of the sides. You wanna soak your paper for about five minutes and then lay it on a piece of uh, a clean towel. And then you put your board on the paper and get it centered and then you flip it over and pinch the four corners to hold the paper in place. And then starting on one of the long sides, you use a mallet. I used a rubber mallet to put this rod into the groove. These rods remind me of what you would see on a screen door to hold the screens in place. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. It might be a little larger in diameter. Anyway, you put that on one of the long sides and then you flip it over to the other long side. And this time you pull on the paper and create some tension as you're putting that rod into place. And then that really stretches the paper. And then you repeat the same thing on the remaining two sides. What you end up with is a very smooth, stretched out piece of watercolor paper and that's just gonna be a lot of fun to work on. Now this board does have some weight to it, not bad, but that is something to consider. It weighs um, one pound, 13 ounces with the paper on it. And in comparison, the other system I use that has an um, aluminum plate, Sorry for the Velcro noise. This is an aluminum plate that my husband made for me and it has the tripod um, threads right there. So my quick release gets screwed into there. And then I use Velcro to attach to the back of a gator, piece of gator board. So this system weighs just a, a pound and this weighs one pound, 13 ounces. Every ounce counts when you're plein air painting. But what you gain from having it be heavier is that it's nice and sturdy and it's a way to easily stretch out your watercolor paper. I really don't think this takes any longer than stapling. And in fact, I think it's easier. Once you do it once, you're like, oh, that goes pretty darn quickly. Um, you don't have to fiddle around with the stapler and then you don't have to take all those darn staples out when you're done. When you're done with this, what you do is you just pop these rods out with um, like a flat screwdriver or a butter knife or whatever. There, there's grooves. You have a groove on all four sides. So you use that groove to pop that out and then you just pull out the rod. Now you will have some excess paper that you'll have to trim off. So the dimensions on here, remember this is for a quarter sheet, which is usually about 11 by 15. The finished size here is 13 and a half by nine and a half. I think you could safely mat to 13 and a quarter by nine and a quarter. Maybe, you know, maybe push it to nine and a half if, you know, nine and a half short, <laughs> in other words, and 13 and a half short. Um, but anyway, what you do is you take the paper off and then you trim off the folded edges so that everything is nice and flat. You do lose a little bit of paper that way, but really you're gonna lose some margin any type with any type of stretching process. This one you might just lose a little more than if you were stapling alone. Um, I think that's all I wanted to cover. Oh, there is one more thing that I'm gonna be 
one more um, way that I'm going to be using this. I'm going to use this as kind of my baseboard so I can prepare a sheet of watercolor paper on there, but then I can also put some paper onto gator board or this is um, corrugated plastic. And then I can use clips to clip this to this board. And I'll just do two. But when I do this for real, I would probably use four. And these clips are not going to hurt the top surface of the watercolor paper because it's attached there and on the back. So I can clip this into place and I could use this. This is nice and sturdy. I mean, it feels very secure onto the board. Um, so I can paint on one version and then change that out. If I was feeling really productive that day, I'd put another board on. And then I also have this. Um, so anyway, that's how I'm gonna be using the Perfect Paper Stretcher. I'll let you know what I think about it after I use it for a while. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below.